plastic litters this 180-acre dump site in Kenya's Kiambu County. The plastic helps workers like Lucy Wanjiro, a 35-year-old mother of four school-aged children, earn an income. I come here to collect plastic with my friends. This job helps me pay for school fees, food, and everything. Lucy and her colleagues collect about 12 tons of plastic a day from the site. A truck takes the day's bounty to Alternative Energy Systems Factory. Raj Kent, the founder of AESL, opened this facility in April 2017. We are at Alternative Energy Systems Limited plant in Thika, where we are processing waste plastic into a synthetic oil. Raj trained as an agriculturist and ran a successful food export company in Kenya for 18 years. From there, I went to Uganda, where I met up with the Indian High Commissioner to Uganda, who introduced me to Indian technologies on uh, waste treatment. And uh, we decided to embark on a biodiesel project where, uh, in Dodoma, Tanzania. Whilst doing the proof of concept, it became abundantly clear that unless we are able to create a value source out of the waste, we would not succeed with the project. That led me to investigation of waste to energy technologies, bringing me, which is where I found this particular technology. The process involves many steps to turn the plastic byproducts into their final form. The plastic first gets shredded, then it gets heated to remove the moisture. Once that's done, it's put into the feeder. From the feeding area, pistons push the material into the reactor. In the reactor, it goes through a process called thermal cracking. Plastic is compromised of a series of long hydrocarbon chains or commonly known as petrol. In the reactor, the long chains are turned into short ones. This ends up giving the synthetic oil the same properties as industrial diesel oil. For every 12 tons of plastic, AESL produces 7,000 liters of oil. Getting customers to understand the technology in Kenya was challenging at first for Raj. However, uh, our greatest challenge has been in the marketing of our synthetic oil in that it's uh, taken time for people to be convinced that our oil is a substitute for petroleum industrial diesel. Prime Wire Steel, owned by a senior group of companies, is testing ASL's synthetic oil. They pay about 50 cents per liter for local petroleum oil, compared to AESL's rate of 75 cents per liter. As a factory owner, I can let you know that using this oil, synthetic oil, is better than diesel, because we do not have smoke. And here, where, we are, where our factory is located, it's around the place where there are many houses, uh, factory uh, like uh, buildings where people do not like to have smokes. <laughs> 